All right, it's 10.30, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, John here at the National Weather Service Office in Kansas City. Uh, we'll start with the radar loop here. I've got Topeka's radar up on the screen, uh, primarily just to kind of show you what's going on out there right now. It's raining on some folks here across parts of western Missouri and eastern Kansas. I had a few drops get into the office here this morning. We got a little shower over the office right now down here in northern Cass County. <clears throat> Main line of convection is back here, uh, well to the west of, of Topeka and out across central Kansas. Uh, this activity over our area right now is uh, it is going to wreak a little bit of uh, havoc on uh, the potential for some significant severe chances this afternoon and later on tonight, which is good news for all of us is the way it's looking like right now. Uh, let me go ahead and jump into the slide deck here and we'll get started. Hopefully we can get started. All right. Um, okay, so today's the 30th of October. Uh, I've got all lines are muted right now. Uh, we'll take questions at the end. You can type your questions in the question box. Uh, feel free to call or use Slack if you think of something afterwards. Um, I am recording the webinar, so hopefully I can get this up and uh, share it out so you folks can share. We'll try to get it on YouTube so you have an easy link to share. All right, so what are what are our concerns today? Well, we are in an enhanced risk of severe weather over a good chunk of our area, <clears throat> mainly over all of eastern Kansas into parts of western Missouri, northwest Missouri, uh, and a slight risk around the rest of the air, uh, region. Uh, looks like we might have some strong to severe thunderstorms, likely a line of, of thunderstorms moving into the area later on tonight, uh, or later on this evening into tonight. Good chance of moderate to heavy rainfall, <clears throat> excuse me, and timing looks like 4 p.m. to midnight-ish. Uh, Non-severe storms here this morning. We might have a couple rumbles of thunder, uh, but we've got folks out there watching it right now on the operations floor. Uh, widespread severe potential is looking possible. Mainly strong winds are biggest concern, uh, and the greatest potential is going to be across parts of eastern Kansas and near the Kansas-Missouri border. Uh, damaging winds are going to be probably the primary hazard. Uh, tornadoes looking more likely like spin-ups on the line, uh, those type of little embedded little circulations, so either enhanced pockets of wind, maybe a brief tornado, and then some small hail as well with that. Um, I, I know uh, we've got a hatched area, and we always say to look for those hatched areas. We've got a hatched area for tornadoes, and both the Topeka office and our office are in contact with SPC to see if we can drag that back a little bit, because as I mentioned at the very beginning, with that convection that's going on right now, it's really going to cut into the potential for uh, significant thunderstorms out ahead of the line we're expecting later tonight. So really this, this potential here from this morning and yesterday was concerned about isolated storms out ahead of the line through the early afternoon, early evening hours. But now with the convection we have going on right now, the storms we have going on right now, it's probably going to squash that down a little bit. I don't want to underplay it too much because I want, to, want us to keep our guard up, but it's looking more likely uh, that any tornado potential we have is going to be with embedded circulations along that line as it moves in here later on tonight. So be on the lookout for updates to these outlooks from the Storm Prediction Center. Like I said, we're trying to collaborate with the Storm Prediction Center uh, to get these narrowed down here, especially with the way things that are unfolding here this morning. Okay, uh, hail again is not really the main concern. It's going to be damaging straight line winds. That's what we're really going to be worried about overall. Uh, not so much a hail threat, but there is a potential, especially across parts of eastern uh, Kansas, that we could see some hail uh, with the early convection. Um, but for the most part, damaging straight line winds are probably the most likely concern with any storms we get here later on this evening and through the uh, evening hours and overnight. The other thing we're looking at, we've been in a drought for quite a while, but uh, this this line is going to bring in a good chance of moderate to heavy rainfall. Um, and you know, we've got the scattered storms here this morning. Uh, but the heaviest rainfall will be that line as it moves through. It might it moves, depends on how fast it moves through. Uh, but then greatest rainfall looks still to be across parts of northwest Missouri up there into the Platte Purchase of Nebraska, Iowa, uh, northeastern Kansas, and northwest Missouri. Um, flooding is not anticipated with this round of thunderstorms, given that we've been in a drought. I mean, a lot of it will probably run off at first, but then once it starts to soak in, we should get pretty good infiltration into the soil overall, but this will just be the start of another chance of rounds of heavy rainfall uh, this weekend and into early next week as well. So again, timing for storms for us. Uh, early on when the line moves in, probably 4 to 8 p.m. for parts of far northeastern Kansas and northwest Missouri, 
uh, 6 to 10 for parts of the northern part of the KC Metro up towards uh, the I-35 corridor in northern Missouri, and then 8 to midnight uh, farther to the east as you move through the metro, and then really 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. and after midnight for storms arriving uh, across parts of, uh, of central into, into mid-mo from Sedalia over towards Columbia, Moberly, the uh, 63 corridor. Uh, I just want to again talk about the fact that we do have an active pattern moving on and right now we have a slight risk of excessive rainfall for Sunday coming up uh, across our area. So again, a good chance here, a giant area of risk of heavy precipitation through early next week as well, through the 6th of, of November through the 12th, uh, we could see good chances of rainfall and, and uh, maybe four to five inches total over several days. Um, so we might be doing a little bit of drought busting, which would be good for all of us. I know my lawn could use it. Uh, so that's something to look forward to, but also could bring the chance of flooding concerns. So we're going to keep you all on the, on the, uh, keep you updated on that as we move forward through the weekend and into early next week. Uh, so again, thunderstorms, a line of thunderstorms will move in later on this afternoon, more likely towards the evening and overnight hours for most of the area. Damaging winds are the are the primary concern along with the potential for some spin-ups on that line maybe a spin-up tornado here or there um, and maybe some small hail additional rainfall later this weekend maybe locally heavy uh, so that's all i've got i'll take any questions in the question box if you've got any if you think of anything you want to talk to us about later on go ahead and give us a call here on the operations floor or reach out to us through uh, nws chat slash slack be happy to answer those questions for you. If not, um, everyone have a great day and we'll keep you updated. So. All right, I don't see any questions coming in. So uh, we'll wrap this up. Again, if you have any questions or concerns or thoughts, really hit us up in, in chat, Slack. Uh, reach out to us uh, on the ops floor at the phone number there, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Um, everyone be safe tonight, and like I said, we'll be here all day as always and all night. So thanks, everyone.